there, I'm Claire, you're watching Stitch Home Sew, thank you so much for joining me today for another video. Now today's video is a Friday Sews video, so I'm here to talk to you all about what I've been up to in terms of sewing etc. So I hope you guys are all really really well, I hope you've all managed to fit in some sewing and let's get on with what I've been up to in terms of sewing. So I have made three things uh, this week in terms of actual you know, sewing machine sewing. And uh, all of them are relatively small. Uh, I definitely have found that over the last few weeks, I'm not necessarily in the mood for sort of major project sewing um, in terms of sort of garment making. I'm more after some sort of quite nice, simple make, some little wins. Uh, the kids have been off school and so therefore I've only got kind of pockets of time uh, to sew, not that I have huge amounts of time normally because I'm at work, but yeah, I'm just finding that come the evening I'm pretty exhausted and I'm not necessarily spending lots of time sewing then, but I'm definitely sort of doing little things throughout the day. So what have I been up to? So one of the things that I made this week is a little uh, pouch for my husband's, one of his little handheld games consoles. It's possibly a little bit on the feminine side, he even said that himself, but it will protect the case. I've done a little um, quilted design on there using the uh, polka dot fabric as a guide, which was really lovely actually because it made it so simple in terms of those guidelines. So I kind of was just sewing a line every fifth row. I don't know whether how well that's going to come up. I popped some bias binding on that I already had that I'd made some bias binding for a, a coat I think I did, like an inside the seams. I popped on a little popper and then it's just the same fabric on the inside as well. And then it just slots, slots in, it's quite a snug fit, but that's quite good. And, and then just a simple popper on there. Yeah, not any design as such, you know, not it's not a pattern. It's just, I just knocked it up. But yeah, overall, it does what it needs to do and he's quite happy with that. So along that sort of same vein, I uh, wanted to make another little pouch. Again with Sir uh, with, uh, Quilty Design on it and I've got this gorgeous strawberry fabric that I used as a lining for a recent coat that I made. I'll pop a picture in of that hood lining and I wanted to make a pouch that was a slightly different design to how I normally make and so again I just sort of went with my intuition on it and I ended up with this little pouch here and after I finished making it I was a bit like mm, okay what am I gonna do with it <laughs> because it wasn't an intentional I didn't necessarily know what size that it was gonna turn out and I was a bit like meh so it's got uh, a love one of these lovely sort of variegated zips on. Unfortunately, not one of the really lovely pulls, just a kind of standard zip pull on there. Uh, again, I've used the polka dot fabric that picks out the polka dots in the strawberry fabric. And then on the inside, it's the polka dot fabric as well. But then, I don't know, the day after I finished making this little pouch and it just sort of sat on my desk and me not knowing what on earth I was going to do with it because mm, it seemed fairly pointless. Um, I, my Hexies arrived that I'd ordered. Now I watched a recent video of Adam's about, that is Adam from Adam Sews, um, about English paper piecing and, and you, the difference between gluing the fabric on and and sewing it on um, and I and I've been thinking about doing some EPP for some time and just hadn't kind of got my act together anyway I decided that I was going to order some of these little hexes I know you could make them yourself but that seems like a lot of work <laughs> and you can buy them so inexpensively that didn't seem like a great idea for me what I have done is popped a little hole in just with a single punch so that uh, when you finish, you can just literally hook them out with a crochet hook. So I've been told anyway. So yeah, those arrived and I just thought, oh, actually, 
it was almost like the bag that they came in, a little paper bag, was pretty much the same size as this. And I was like, okay, no brainer. So that's what is in those for now, anyway. So talking about EPP, I have cut out loads and loads of, well, not loads and loads, a reasonable amount of uh, two and a half inch squares to do. And then I have been doing lots of little hexes basting them with the idea of putting them together so that's another little thing that I've been working on and I've just popped them together um, it all in a little kit for myself so I've got my my hexes I've got my little bits of to do's I've got some needles I've got some thread snips somewhere in there um, little thread snips and uh, some thread and things and it's all in a pouch that I made some time ago and I love this pouch and I've used it for various different things and it, you know I keep kind of oh right I'm going to use it for something else now anyway it's new thing is to um, be for my English paper piecing for now and this is again a pattern from Adam Sews this is his trio of pouch pattern now I've used this pattern so many times I would absolutely recommend this pattern uh, this is the large size there's a medium and then a small so this one it just you can fit so much in here and it, it's brilliant for as a makeup bag as well because it it opens up you know like really wide so you can see everything in there but it would all also be really kind of safe in there I highly recommend this pattern and this gorgeous fabric I love it was from by Graziella um, I'm not sure whether it's a design that they still do, but yeah, love it. So that's another thing that I've been doing this week. In terms of garment sewing, I have cut out a, a blouse, um, and I'll talk to you more about that in another video. And I've also made a pair of the shoreline shorts for my youngest son in a off cut of Batman fabric that I had. Now I previously made a hoodie for him and I was just having a bit of a tidy up and I found this off cut of fabric and I thought mm, I wonder whether I can squeeze out uh, the shoreline shorts which I did successfully manage to do now and I've only literally got about that much left which I may or may not depending on how I feel make him a black t-shirt and then use the the little bit of leftover fabric just to make like a pocket of Batman on so that they kind of marry together. Now unfortunately I don't have a picture of him wearing the shorts and neither do I have uh, the item to hand because I've made them yesterday and he wanted to wear them straight away so he's got them on and so I can't show them to you right now um, and what I will try and do well let me put a flat lay picture in for you so you can see what I'm talking about at least. Very cute. And I will try and get a picture of him in them tomorrow. But they're now in the wash <laughs> because he's worn them all day and I'm crawling sort of late afternoon, early evening sort of time. And they're now in the wash because, you know, after a day of wear with a five-year-old, they're dirty. But he's really, really chuffed with them. And, you know, it's delightful that he wanted to wear them straight away so I'm really happy with that so yeah that's kind of the main amount of sewing that I've been doing I've been doing some knitting I've done a little bit more of a cross stitch those sort of things so yeah really uh chuffed with the things that I've managed to get done little bits here and there nothing too big to show you yet um but hopefully um I will get a little bit more time for some sewing once the boys are back at school and my I feel like then my evenings become more of my evenings again because because it's been the school holidays they've been staying up a bit later and then by the time they go to bed I'm not really in the mood for any kind of major sewing so that's what I've been up to in terms of sewing I've also bought the latest copy of Simply Sewing magazine that's in backwards which doesn't really help um, so it comes in this bag and then there's some patterns inside so um, it says a six in one mega pack 
apparently worth $49.99 and you get in the, the one that I got because I bought it from a supermarket I got four patterns now so I thought I might as well just do kind of a little review of my thoughts of the magazine and I did buy it for one particular reason and we'll talk about that in a bit more detail in a minute but and you probably know if you, you're on Instagram. <laughs> um, so the first pattern was the Martha wrap dress. Good sizing on there, 6 to 30. And yeah, it's it, it's a nice wrap dress, actually. It's got a little bit of a puff sleeve detail at the top. It's got some darts at the back for some shaping. There's a bit of a waistband detail that all, I would presume would give you a bit more definition. And it's got this kind of tulip, I think you would call it a tulip detail at the bottom. Uh, that looks really nice. It says it takes three and a half metres of fabric, but I'm sh presuming that's for the larger size. So for the smaller size, much less than that, I would make a guess at. I think the styling on that's quite nice. I quite like that fabric. Um, yeah, I think I think they've done OK with that one. I think that's quite nice. The next one is the Britney T. So this is looks like it's a grown on sleeve. Um, it's got uh, a cuff on the sleeve. It reminds me a lot of the Naya t-shirt actually, which I have to say, although it was a bit of a cult favorite in the sewing community, I didn't love it on me. Loved it on other people, didn't love it on me. Now I made it in a cotton jersey and maybe that was just too sort of structured of a cotton jersey type fabric I think it would be much better in a viscose jersey or a much thinner cotton jersey um, I like this striped version I love the way they've played with the stripes on there I think that's really nice again good size range 6 to 30 um, and this is from their capsule wardrobe selection and they talk about that a little bit more in the the uh, magazine now the next pattern is their kind of one of the things they're kind of really kind of selling the magazine about is the Tilly and the Buttons um, book, new book that's coming out, their kids' book, and they've included one of the patterns in it. I I believe it's the one of the patterns that's in a book, but certainly one of Tilly and the Buttons' new kids' pattern range, and it's the indigo dress. Now this has been a massive favourite in the adult size. Um, and I believe in the adult size there is uh, like an add-on pack that you can do um, like puff sleeves and all that sort of thing. But this looks really cute actually. I mean, she's adorable, isn't she? Um, yeah, I think I think that looks lovely. And if you've got a girl, <laughs> uh, which unfortunately I do not. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't mean that. I love my voice, but you know what I mean? I don't have a little girl to sew for. Um, but yeah, I think that's really cute. And then the, I think this is probably a bit of a bonus pattern because when you buy in a supermarket, you always seem to get one more. Um, and this is the Tula Tea. Now I feel like I've seen this before in Simply Sewing or maybe it was it came in Love Sewing. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I've definitely seen this one before. It's a sewing pattern by Mason's Pattern. I'm not even convinced that I ha don't already own this. Um in this form not even like a pdf so but it looks nice again oversized slouchy tee it's got some quite nice style lines on it actually so you can do some sort of color blocking yeah I, again i think a viscose jersey would be best or at least something that has got a lot of drape to it so not too structured of a um fabric um in terms of the magazine itself uh it talks about it being the number one sewing magazine <laughs> i don't know whether that's definitely the case apparently there's a free book that you can download i haven't done that yet i'll have to find out what that is um it talks about tilly and the buttons easy to sew wrap dress and there's also a little um guide about sewing like one of these sort of tops a, a sort of gani gani inspired top there's been lots of people kind of re um doing their own version of this in the sewing community and i think they've made that out of sort of several different shirts so you know 
recycle, reuse, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, on the whole, there's some really good things in here. I feel like it's a bit thinner than it normally is. I say normally is. I don't get a sewing magazine on a regular basis, but I've certainly bought this magazine in the past, and I feel like it's a bit thinner than normal, um, or it has been in the past, but that's not necessarily a bad thing if the content is good. Uh, we've got a little thing about um, Brogan from the Crafty Pie. Uh, and then there's some talk about from different patterns and things. Um, what else have we got in here? Oh, there's a talk about the capsule wardrobe, which one of these patterns was all about. So I think you're going to get one pattern per month. And the first one is this lovely sort of standard sort of t-shirt. There's talk about kind of making fabric uh, your clothes to, to last and to wear and techniques in relation to that. Again, some talk about the capsule wardrobe and that Britney tea. Uh, and then sort of moving through and then we talk about the refashion of that with that Ganny inspired top. And then one of the main reasons I bought this was for the article written by the lovely Adam from Adam Sews. He's featuring heavily in this video today, isn't he? Um, he is a lovely friend of mine. He's an amazing guy, really super talented. And there's a whole wonderful article about Adam in there. It's a really lovely read. Um, and yeah, congrats, Adam. It's just brilliant. And then moving on we've got some details in relation to the dress that's on the front cover which is great and then we've got some talk about the new Tilly and the Buttons kids book and lots of lovely amazing articles draft your own head bow and how to do that oh I love this love 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 this you know I love to make bags this fabric just looks stunning in this bag. I really like it. Um, I'm not sure that I would necessarily choose that webbing colour because I think it would be pick up, it would get dirty, basically. <laughs> um, but I can see where they've done it. It kind of picks up this sort of tone within there. But that fabric is gorgeous. I love it. And I think it looks lovely as a quilted bag. It shows you how to do all of that. Uh, there's obviously more and more articles in there and then another thing I just think is adorable look at this guy love him oh he is just gorgeous this gorgeous he said he's called Bertie the turtle I mean adorable so it shows you how to make that and everything and then the pattern pieces are in the back so all in all, I think this is a really good month of this magazine. As I say, it does feel a little bit thinner than normal, but I don't know whether I just haven't bought this magazine for a long while or whether it feels a bit different to normal. I feel like, uh, I don't know, how it's presented feels a bit fresher, a bit more modern. I don't know something about it feels better than the normal I don't know just just the layout of it somehow it feels a little bit different to normal I don't know why but yeah all in all a good good magazine and you know obviously I bought it because the wonderful Adam was going to be in it and all in all I think they've done a pretty good job with that one and yeah I'm quite pleased with the free patterns within that too so that's good so in terms of sewing for the next week ahead i think i'd like to crack on with my sew april blouse make uh, and i'd also like to do some of my english paper piecing however in terms of other garment sewing i feel like i've ground to a little bit of a halt i don't really know what i want to make yet i don't really have anything that's sort of burning a hole even though I know that there's things that I've definitely thought oh I really want to make that so I think what I need to do is have a look through my fabric stash try and do some pattern pairing and obviously stash hub 
would be ideal for that so I need to kind of get my act together with that and get some more stuff on there and so then I can sort of use that to its sort of full um, worth if you like and then sort of decide from there but in the meantime I might just do some little crafty sews um, with those you don't have to worry about fitting <laughs> which is always a delight and on the whole they tend to be relatively quick um, not always but it does give you that kind of instant gratification side of things so they're always lovely to do but hopefully next week by next week i will have some better plans for you to share with you and perhaps some additional makes to share with you as well so i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please do give me a like if you haven't subscribed i'd really love it if you consider doing so i hope you have a wonderful week ahead and i will catch you in the next one take care happy sewing bye bye